Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Silca Impero Ultimate Frame Pump. While many cyclists have transitioned away from frame pumps to compact CO2 canisters or mini pumps, frame pumps still offer a lot of value. Not only are frame pumps more efficient at inflating a tire than a little mini pump, but you don't have to spend money on replacement CO2 canisters. Now, if you're looking for a high quality pump, Silca is a company that's pretty well known for handmade and all metal pumps. And today we're gonna to be looking at their Silca Impero Ultimate, which is their large frame pump. Now, packaging wise, really simple. You get this cardboard, uh, almost poster board style shipping container. Silica branding on here, a little red accent on top. And if you're not familiar with Silica, they've been around for a long time, almost a decade. And they've been producing uh, pumps for uh, Tour de France and a lot of professional cyclists. Now, I'll go ahead and take it out of the container and we'll go over the specs. Retail price on this is $165, so quite expensive. It's an all aluminum construction that's actually handmade in the US, which is one reason why it costs so much. Now, this is also designed to last. So it has a brass check valve and something they call a flex wing technology. And that's for a really seamless mount onto the bike. You have silicon bumpers to protect the frame from scratches. And as a part of the ultimate product lineup. This is covered with the Silca Shield warranty, which is one of the best warranties they offer. It's a lifetime warranty that covers all the other Ultimate products. So here we see it out of the box. So pretty simple. All you get is a little packaging. You don't get an instruction manual or anything. It's just one piece, no chuck, no adapters. It's a Presta valve only design that just installs on your bike without any brackets. Now let's go ahead and look at the weight of the pump. Now it's a lot larger than a standard pump. So it comes in at 282 grams. Silca is well known for their unmatched build quality and warranties and the Impero Ultimate Frame Pump is no exception. As you can see, it's an all aluminum body. You have nice anodized red accents at the chuck, high quality rubber uh, bumpers at both ends to mount to the frame and almost no branding, which is kind of interesting. So you can see it's an all black body. You can only see Silca a logo on the rubber bumper here. And this is actually a bumper you can move. It takes quite a bit of force, but you can see, you can slide it up and that'll prevent it from uh, actually moving. So that's a great way to reduce some chatter on the bike. You have nice little rubber at the ends and Silca written really uh, subtly here. And then the other chuck side has this red anodized piece and a little Silca logo again. Now what's interesting about this is Presta only, and there's actually no lever. They use a two-stage head gasket, so you just shove this down and it has a really nice tight seal. Obviously you can't use this with anything else aside from Presta valve though. It's a really sleek, no additional parts, nothing that'll uh, rub against your frame. There is no gauge as well, so you kind of have to pump it up by feel. That's one downside. But otherwise, really simple design, and you can see the nice long, uh, thin diameter lets it really hide behind your top tube. And with these bumpers and the little adjustable stop here, you can really have a nice seal. Now, this is what they call their flex wing technology. It's silicone rubbers, and you can see with the design, it actually accommodates one inch to two and a half inch tubing. Oh, we've actually had good luck installing this on our carbon bike as well, so you don't have to have round tubing although it does work better with the uh, traditional round tubes. And you can see this nice diamond design here. So it's really flexible. So as you push it in, it will really uh, contour to your bike frame. So here we can see the pump installed on my specialized tarmac. As you can see, it does stand out. There's a big gap here as the top tube on the tarmac is curved. And that's one reason why these pumps are better suited for retro bikes with round tubing. But it still works and you can see it's actually tucked out of the way when you're riding from the top view you can't even see this pump as the diameter is smaller than the top tube itself so here is a closer look at the chuck side so you can see the red highlights really stand out and it fits really well so you can see even as you move around there's not much play and because of the curved rubber bumpers on here it won't damage your frame either here's a closer look at the handle side 
It is curved as well, so it actually fits against the carbon fiber frame pretty well, even though this is not a traditional round tube. And as you can see, if you move it around, it doesn't really move. On the road, you do hear a little bit of clatter, unless you tighten this up all the way. But otherwise, it's actually pretty secure, and you can see even with some force, the pump stays in place. So here we have, as a point of comparison, a Topeak Turbo Morph G pump. Now, it's a mountain biking pump, but it has this nice bracket, so you can actually use it as a frame pump. But you can see it's a lot bulkier. You have these Velcro straps here, and then everything doesn't really fit that tight. So definitely not as optimal as the Silka. So here's a closer look at the Topeak. You can see the Velcro straps here. These will, over time, rub against the frame and damage your paint. And that's something that's actually taken the clear coat off my other bike. So one reason to avoid these kind of bracket designs with a frame pump. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Silka pump. What we like about it is that it fills tires really quickly. It's a very long pump, so it's very efficient with each stroke. It also is covered with their comprehensive Silica Shield lifetime warranty. So this is a pump that will definitely outlast your bike. And it has that premium all metal construction. So you don't have to worry about any plastic parts breaking or becoming brittle. Some of the negatives for the pump is the fact that it's very expensive. It's on par with other floor pumps. And that silica locking bumper is pretty difficult to adjust. It takes a lot of force to drag back and forth. And finally, it would have been nice to have a pressure gauge because otherwise you really fill in the tires by touch, which, which can be really difficult to do. Taking everything into account would give the frame pump an 8.9 out of 10. It's an expensive frame pump, but definitely built to last and has a warranty to back it up. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com, as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.